probably going to do another game jam real soon and do something more ambitious. More ambitious. More ambitious. More ambitious. So what is this? This was a game I made for the Mix and Game Jam, hosted by YouTube legend Mix and Jam. It was a 48 hour jam with the theme of mixing genres. The general idea was to take two game genres and, well, mix and jam them together. Though I took the theme and went a different way. I instead fiddled with mixing music genres as a game mechanic. And in the spirit of the Mix and Jam channel of recreating cool game mechanics, I took the music mixing mechanic from Banjo Kazooie as inspiration. Like you see here in Grunty's Lair, Banjo enters a new area and the music seamlessly mixes into a new version of the track that is congruous with the area. Wow. As I was already on the quest to remake the music mixing mechanic, I thought, why not just remake Banjo-Kazooie? One big but though. To avoid Microsoft's lawyers, I needed to change it from a bear and a bird. So I changed it to a bear and a snake. So in order to pull off a retro 3D platformer in 48 hours, I needed to optimize my time. We were allowed to use pre-existing boilerplate code and art assets. So downloading Blender and learning the 3D model would be a huge waste of time. But I did it anyway. Oh, Blender. No, no, no. You're breathtaking! <laughs> You're breathtaking! After watching this video by CG Geek, I was a pro, and I was able to whip up this bad bear in no time. Threw him into Mixamo to animate him, and if you don't know what Mixamo is, it's just a tool for people like me that don't know how to animate. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It just animates things for you. But it saved a heap of time. Finally jumped into Unity and got started by tweaking and building upon a 3D character controller I had. I added the bear and set up the animations. I then added a cube for a backpack and then implemented a grappling hook, which was going to act as the snake. After a lot of programming and trial and error, I got something working well enough. At this point, I had 24 hours left and it was time to sort out the main music mixing mechanic. So I needed music and to make the game feel like Banjo-Kazooie, it needed Banjo-Kazooie-like music. But I'm not a musical genius like Grant Kirkhope. But as a part-time duck wizard that dabbles in the duck arts, I was able to conjure up a solution, which was downloading a MIDI song off Open Game Art and replacing the instruments used with the ones used in Banjo-Kazooie. I used a program called Synthfont to achieve this, and it saved a lot of time. I made three versions of the same track, one for each area of the map. A neutral version, version and the fire version. I then scripted the music mixing mechanic. My solution was to play all three tracks at once and setting up trigger walls when walked over would send a track name to smoothly fade to. Now I needed to make a world. I heard Pro Builder and Polybrush were good tools to make quick level designs. Which after learning how to use them, I definitely think they are. Just, my mountain looked like a colossal turd. Before addressing this, 
I started making a quick dialogue system. It was then I remembered I had a low poly acid pack, which I ended up using to make the world. I still use the poly brush to edit and paint some other models though. I made the world feel more banjo kazooie like just by adding eyes on things. Added a roll and a roll jump for more interesting platforming. I made an event based collectible system and populated the world with bananas and swords. Hey, video games don't have to make sense. Then finished off with a title and end screen. I submitted with no time to spare and without testing. Thankfully, it was beatable. And that's how I made an incredibly scuffed version of Banshee Kazooie in 48 hours. There is so much to improve upon, but for 48 hours, I'm proud of it. And that's all that matters. Since making this, I've been inspired by a few things. One being the devlogs made by YouTuber Robert Thompson on a 3D platform he's working on. You should definitely check it out. Another game that inspired me was A Hat in Time, after completing it recently over at twitch.tv forward slash Tuxedo. So possibly in the future I'll tighten and polish things up, and hopefully make something truly great. Maybe not a full game. Settle down Microsoft lawyers. Maybe just a set of maps to speedrun. Let me know if you have any ideas in the comments. If you want to play this game, you can over at itch.io, link in the description. But I recommend downloading it, as the polybrush haters don't work on OpenGL, for some reason. Consider subscribing, follow my Twitch, alright I'll see you next time.